Hey everybody, thanks for coming. Welcome. Uh, in this video, we're going to be taking a look at 5-Minute Fantasies, Week 7, Booming and Busting Tight Ends. My start of the week, I'm going to say, is going to be Evan Ingram versus the Philadelphia Eagles. Uh, the Philadelphia Eagles, again, you know, they don't have a great, great defense by any means. Evan Ingram's a guy who, you know, when he came out of college and he got drafted by the Giants, I was really excited uh, because I thought that the collection of weapons that they were getting on New York was going to be pretty, pretty interesting. Um, you know, he's super athletic. He's, he's got great hands and he showed some of that last year. He's been banged up in and out of the lineup. He's in the lineup now. And I expect him to have a dominant performance against Philadelphia and what the Giants hope to be their first win against Philadelphia in their last seven games. Uh, Eric Ebron versus the Tennessee Titans. Uh, the Tennessee Titans, um, they're not great at covering tight ends. And it's not even like they faced a bunch of elite tight ends. You know, they faced, uh, you know, Noah Fant in Denver, Darren Fells, I think, who's the guy right now in uh, Houston. And then whoever they have on Buffalo, I mean, it's a bunch of guys like this. You know, they face the Jaguars. You know, that's that's four teams who, you know, don't have a top 20 tight end. But um, they're still not great at covering tight ends. They give up a lot of a lot of yards, a lot of points to tight ends. Look for Eric Ebron to have a surprisingly good game. Uh as well, Austin Hooper. I expect Austin Hooper on the Cleveland Browns to have a good game against the Cincinnati Bengals. You know, as mentioned earlier, I think that this is an offensive matchup, at least for the next two or three years, uh, while these teams are just working on their young quarterbacks. Uh, I expect Austin Hooper to have a game uh, that would remind you of the games that he had last year with Atlanta, where he was, you know, getting 120, 130, 140 yards from Matt Ryan. Um, might not be in garbage time because... I don't think that, you know, Cincinnati could stop anybody uh, either, but, uh, you know, expect this to be a nice shootout where Austin Hooper gets some points. And then Rob Gronkowski. Uh, I don't think that Rob Gronkowski is going to finish the season as a top 15 tight end, uh, but I think that we're going to be in a stretch of about two or three weeks right now where Brady kind of uses him to get his feet underneath him because, you know, the team still doesn't have their full set of chemistry uh, with each other yet, so we expect uh, Rob to kind of be a uh, heavy red zone target at least uh, this week against the Raiders, who are not good against the tight end. Uh, my sit of the week is going to be Tyler Higby, the guy uh, for the Rams who's been having a pretty good season, but this week he's going up against the Chicago Bears, who they have got Cleo Mack. Tyler Higby's number one job is going to be to chip, block, shove, do anything he can to stop Cleo Mack. Right, Tyler Higby is not the number one target. He's not the number two target. He might be the number three target. Uh, so look for him to have a much lesser role in the offense right now. Hunter Henry versus Jacksonville. Hunter Henry's a guy who I absolutely loved uh, coming out of college, coming into um, the Chargers. I thought that he was going to end up being the best tight end by this point. Uh, clearly, I was wrong about that. But uh, right now, Justin Herbert is absolutely dominating with the deep ball. Um, I mean, he's he's up there right now with Russell Wilson and Patrick Mahomes in terms of his effectiveness throwing the deep ball. So that's a guy like Mike Williams, definitely. Keenan Allen, a little bit less so. And then Hunter Henry, definitely less so. So be careful about starting him uh, as your number one uh, option as a tight end. Hayden Hurst versus Detroit. Now, Hayden uh, on Atlanta has been having a pretty good season so far, uh, but I don't expect this to be a game-dominated uh, in the middle, I think this is going to be a deep ball game. I think there's going to be a lot of Calvin Ridley, Julio Jones. It's going to be a lot of Kenny Galladay. Deep throws from the quarterback. The secondaries on this team on these teams are terrible. Uh, but the offensive lines, neither of them are that fantastic. So, you know, the tight ends, I think they're going to be working in the trenches. Uh, so Hayden Hurst uh, sit against Detroit. And then Jonu Smith versus Pittsburgh. I think Jonu Smith is slated to play. Uh, and he's been having a relatively good season, uh, both the tight ends have right now, on the Tennessee Titans. But again, you know, Pittsburgh's got their amazing defense. What can you say about that? But, you know, try to find a better option.